I think I'll miss the most just playing basketball. You know, you go home and like, yeah, you go play basketball for fun, but it's nothing like going out there and playing Texas or going out there and playing against Baylor, lifting weights, going doing things that are really hard in workouts just so you can be your best on the court. All the bus rides, I feel like, long, long bus rides, Big 12, those are probably one of the most fun times that I had here. So I feel like all those stories, songs, jokes will probably stick with me the most. It's great playing with the two of them. Uh, on the court, Jade is one of those people that's not really going to scream and yell at you, but she'll pull you to the side and tell you what you need to do. Carol's the type of person that's going to lead you, like, if you're in the wrong spot or you need help on something, Carol's is going to tell you straight up. Carol's taught me to, like, not let other people, like, phase you, like, just to be, like, wow. <laughs> and Jada's taught me to just go with the flow and, like, understand what I'm doing and stay, like, present, moment focused. Carol, she's going to be celebrating every play. She's going to be pulling you aside in practice and just coaching you up on the little mistakes that you're making because they are more experienced. They've been here four years and they know the program a lot more. So they use that to their advantage in helping us out. It's so nice like being able to play next to Carol because she knows like what good you can be and how great you can be as a player. And she says what she needs to say to get that out of you for you to perform. She really cares a lot about everybody. She's got such a big heart, you know, and that's one of the things I'm going to miss the most. She's just such a caring person and she cares so much about this team and whether she's in the game or not, she's just bringing so much energy like either on the bench or in the game and I think that's something we're definitely going to miss. To be Jada's teammate, I feel like what I've learned a lot from her, like the way she just carries herself, like just knowing her background story, how she just carries herself with such strength, that's really empowering as a younger teammate looking up to her, knowing that what she's been through and she has not made any excuse. She touches everybody that she walks by. I call Jada my mom. She takes care of me. She's definitely made my transition from high school to college a lot easier. She gives me advice when I need it. She sometimes tells me the stuff that I don't want to hear, but she's always looking out for me and I'm gonna miss her a lot. She's not really going to be the one that's talking the most or coaching you up the most, but she's just gonna show you by doing it and that's really special and not something that a lot of people can do in a leadership role. What I wrote on the wall is live in the moment, it goes by fast because this is only four years of your life and you want to take the most out of it. I will write on the legacy wall, be still, because to me that's like my personal quote and it's just like be still where you are, like don't try to go ahead, don't try to, don't be lagging behind, just be where your feet are and enjoy where you are. I feel like my personal legacy here will be know your role and do your role the best of your ability. So everyone has an important role on the team, so knowing your role and doing your role to the best is what's going to help the team the most. I think my personal legacy is just being a fighter. You know, I've come back from ACL injuries, I've come back from just tragic things, and you know, I've come back with a smile on my face and you know, just enjoying what I do and trying to be a leader, and I just feel like people will look up to me for that and remember like, you know, there's things that other people are going through that are much harder than what you are going through, so you just really have to, you know, keep that in perspective and just enjoy your opportunity.